understand what just what, what you just said regarding to our next uh, activity uh, it's about uh, finding the root of the problem right so um what i'm thinking is like this uh, if i'm looking at uh, the problem identification that i already made and i already submitted uh, i have about five uh, problems identification and then uh, in the second worksheet work assignment that we already did uh, yesterday uh, I'm only just about three so uh, for this uh, next uh, assignment do we have to choose it from the first uh, assignment or we choose it from the the second one sir uh, because um uh, uh, in uh, for me, I think all of the the five problems that I mentioned in uh, in my uh, assignment last time uh, is a real happen in my class uh, in, in most of the students. So I just would like to um, make sure that uh, I can take it from the uh, first one or, or or from the first assignment or the second assignment. Uh, uh, why I'm choosing only three. Uh, problem in in the second assignment because i think that is the major the major problem that we have uh, regarding to the teaching learning process uh, from the teacher and also with the students so i just need some uh, additional uh, what is it uh, information or advice from you thank you Okay, thank you very much, Miss Mediana, for the questions. And then let me uh, give you the answer. Okay, so for the student worksheet 1.3, you guys may pick it from student worksheet 1.1 or student worksheet 1.2. That should be okay. Yeah, because yeah, when we look at, when we try to focus on student worksheet 1.3, the main yeah, the main thing that we have to consider here it is the root of the problems. Yeah, the root of the problem you can pick from student works at 1.1 and then also from student works at 1.2. Okay, so it is not we have to pick it from one or we have to uh, pick it from two. It will be up to you. So from the problem explorations on student works at 1.2, what will be something that uh, you can take as the main considerations. So you can claim this will be the roots of this problem. This will be problem that really needs to solve as soon as possible. Yeah, That, that will be the uh, considerations when we pick yeah? when we pick two main problem that we're going to uh, choose as our second subject that we are going to uh, make, that we are going to create an innovative teaching document. As simple as that one, Miss Mediana. Is that clear enough for you, Miss? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Then can I can I continue the next question? Oh, okay. So you have next question. Okay, come on. What is the next question? All right. Uh, uh, from 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 those three uh, problems that I mentioned to you just now, mm -hmm. uh, one of the problem that I would like to uh, uh, talk about it's about the relation between parents and uh, building relation with the parents with the with with, with the students also, sir. So mm -hmm. uh, what I have in my mind uh, in my school uh, sometimes it's quite, quite hard for, for the teacher yeah, to get no better for the students because they do not give us uh, as lot of uh, information about the, 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 the condition of the students. I don't know why it seems that it's always happening year by year and then until we have a, a, a big problem with a certain kids then we try to communicate it with the parents and then we try to get some more information from the previous teacher and also we try to get help also from our school counselor since we are talking about uh, young kids yeah young kids we we actually hope that uh, parents can be uh, can open and then uh, tell us uh, the problem of uh, the kids, uh, probably at home, the way of the, 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 the communication at home with the parents and also uh, about their problem in learning. So what do you, what is your suggestion about this? 
Thank you. Okay. Okay. One more time. When you mention about young kids, that's a new term, I guess. Uh, the familiar term we use young learners. Ah, uh, Miss Mediana. <laughs> Not young kids. What is it? Young kids. Uh, it is some kind of the brand of uh, shoe brand, yeah, Mr. Rickson, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So it is young <laughs> learners. Yeah. So since you're mentioning about uh, the building the relationships between uh, parent and, and students, my suggestion here, when you're going to pick this problem, so uh, you're going to make, you're going to develop, build, an innovative kind of teaching document that can attract the students to, what is it? To make a good connections with the parent and then a good connections also with the teachers. And then for this one, to be honest, it's kind of uh, strange for me if this is the problem that you pick and then what kind of the English language learning material that you are going to develop using this one? Okay, Miss Mediana, so one more time, it is not a wrong one, but when we go back with the indicator, yeah, when we go back with the indicator, all the problems that we collected and then that we decided uh, for the uh, student works at 1.1, 1 1.2, or even 1.3 here, we got to think about what will be the teaching document that we are going to create, especially using uh, English language learning. Since your problem, it is about the building connection between parents and students and then also with the teachers. So the relations, the relevant with English language learning, can you see? Can you see the big uh, description here that I tried to give it to you, Miss Mediana? Okay, so it is not the wrong kind of problems, but you need to focusing on delivering an English learning material for the students because that will be the term that will be the next step for the second subject. You are going or we are going to discuss more, creating an innovative teaching document that we are going to deliver for the students. Yeah. And then if we are going to force this one, so you wanted to uh, pick building the parent and then student and also teacher connections, we can make an integrations yeah, for the learning material that you are going to make. You're going to put how to make a good relationship, I guess. Yeah? So it is, it is uh, explicit or implicit ways, it will be up to you, but that's not our focus. Our focus here, how they are going to learn English with the learning material that you are going to share with the student. Is that clear for you, Miss Mediana? Hello? Yeah, it's, it, it's uh, much clear for me now. Okay. So in other words, uh, it means that all the things that are all the, the, the problems that we are going to choose uh, for this uh, activity, I mean, the, the, the next uh, assignment, mm -hmm. uh, it should be related to the uh, teaching documents that we can uh, be focused, that we can apply uh, to make uh, the, the problem, to find out the root of the problem uh, exactly in our teaching learning, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, I guess the day that you guys have the orientation I told you, we can claim we have a relevant, we have a suitable kind of problems when we think about what will be the next teaching document that we are going to create based on the problem that we collected. Yeah, and then not only creating a teaching document, but how did we are going to practice it, implement it, on the third subject teaching practice. So it is simply planning, yeah, planning based on the problem, providing solutions, yeah, based on all of the uh, alternative solutions, and the last one, implementing, as simple as that. Okay, everyone, hopefully that will clear enough for you guys. And then I'm gonna give one more chance because it is uh, still 8.22. I'm gonna give Miss Neneng Horun Nisa, not for Miss Mui Nurindah Sari, because I already, I already gave you a chance before. Come on, Miss Neneng Horun Nisa. Okay. Thanks, sir, for the chance. Uh, actually, I'm still confused about the third worksheet. 
uh, what I confuse here is about uh, in the column of analysis of the root of the problem. Okay, here in the worksheet, we can find that uh, analysis akar penyebab masalah by supporting data. Do we have to uh, search one more theory about the data we have from the interview or how is it? I still confused in this column. Okay, that's all, Miss Neneng? Yes. Okay, the simple answer for that one, Miss Neneng. So you already decided the root of the problem. So you're going to pick several iterative review, several kind of result. That okay. mentioning, this will be the most suitable one for the problem that you pick. Okay, that will become your support theory, support concept. Yeah, based on the problem that you already collected, that you decided to choose, that you're going to make the teaching document. Okay, Miss uh, Neneng Harunisa, you can okay. pick it from the previous one, from the theories that student works at 1.1, student works at 1.2, that should be okay. Okay, so based on your explanation before on Miss Mediana's question, mm -hmm. it means that we have to develop, uh, what is it, uh, teaching document, yeah. so it means that the problem here we choose uh, better including English skills, right? Reading, okay. listening, right? So, okay. uh, mm -hmm. so except that English skill, maybe we can put it in the third, what is it, in the third worksheet. Okay, that that's all, is. Mr. Yes. Right? Okay, one more time. All the problem that you guys decided to pick, to choose, it should be the problem that can, what is it, that can lead you guys to make a teaching document. Especially innovative teaching document using an innovative learning model, using or integrating with one of three learning media, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and then also augmented reality. That will be a real hard work for you guys. Okay, Ms. Nereng Harunisa. So uh, if you found out your last uh, problem that you collected here, something that it's difficult for you to create or to make the teaching document, so just leave it out. Yeah, try to pick the skill from four skill if you want it to be, or try to focus on vocabulary or linguistic things. Yeah, or even if you love learning grammar, so you may go using grammar. That should be fine. Okay, Miss Nene. Okay, thank you for. Okay, thank you for <laughs> okay. I guess that's enough. Yeah, for giving you guys to ask the question. It's nearly uh, thirty minutes, and then now I'm gonna give you a chance to explain your progress for this one. I would like to ask Miss Christina Octavia. Yeah? Miss Christina, I hope you're going to share your progress for this one. And then uh, what is it, the roots of the problem that you uh, pick? And tell us your considerations in making the decisions uh, to make the root of the problem. Come on, time is yours, Miss Christina. I'm sorry, sir. I am, uh, it's a bit noisy here because I'm teaching. Uh, and then at 30, I have to move to other classes to teach. But now I'm going to tell it in four minutes, is it? <laughs> because at 30, I have to move. <laughs> Okay, so 8.30, okay, it's already 8.27. Why did you have to move? What is it, Miss yeah, Christina? I have, I have another class uh, in 8th grade. Now in, I, I am in 9th grade and then I have to go to 8th grade. Okay, so you don't have any substitute teacher with you, Miss Christina? No. Oh my God. No, you don't have any substitute teacher with you, no? <laughs> okay, so there are two problems that I've already picked. Uh, the first one is uh, like lack like of reading uh, motivation will affect students' reading comprehension. And then uh, the second one is, uh, sorry. Uh, 
Okay, come on, Miss Christina. It seems like you are not okay. in the... Yeah, yeah. Okay, That's come on. And then this is the root. And the student thinks that books are not interesting and they prefer to watch visual media. And then this is the analysis. Students think that uh, reading is boring and then students prefer digital or visual images to books. Books are not interesting and full of text. Therefore, it needs to improve students' motivation by being students' desire or material in, uh, interest according to their interest to make the enjoyable learning in reading. And then this is the problem. And then the second uh, problem, there is lack of grammar knowledge leads a, lead to poor writing skill. And then this is the root. Students like to use social media in which the language on social media is not formal. And then the students like to use sharing language when, which is uh, simple and practical. And then here, I conclude that the analysis one, gadget and social media give bad impacts on students, especially on their speaking, uh, on their writing skill. And then the solution, uh, improving grammar knowledge can be done by extending reading activities. And then teacher also should give more awareness about the importance of grammar for their uh, future life. Something like that. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, Miss Christina. I guess you're gonna move uh, to the other class, and then while moving to the other class, I would like to give a chance for everyone here to give a command, a critics, questions, or anything. Come on, come on. I have one more question, uh, sir. This is about the first problem here. This is about uh, motivation. It, can it be documented according to the previous uh, Buneneng asked? Uh, okay, well, let me answer it later on, yeah, because uh, now it will be the chance for your friend here to give you uh, recommendations, comment, critics, or anything. Okay, Miss Christina, come on, who will be the first, please, to give the opinion from Miss Christina's uh, worksheet, everyone? Okay, Miss Sifa Pauzia, please. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, me. Uh, thank you, Mister, for giving me a chance. Uh, and for the Miss Ian. Okay, what is it, Miss Indra? Uh, would like Miss Miss Christine to be zoom of the, uh, paper. It's very small for me. Thank you. Okay, Miss Christina, I hope you're gonna zoom out your. Uh, foundations. Okay, and proceed, please. Enough. Thank yeah. you. Okay, proceed, Thank please, Miss Sifa. Okay, uh, Miss Christina, for the first problem, uh, students like motivation for reading yet, isn't it? Uh, uh, I have uh, some problem with Miss Christina that in the reading skill, the student is what uh don't understand well what they are reading for the comprehension because uh, they lack motivation or they lack vocabulary. And maybe you can uh, make the students can choose what they want to read. Like uh, you provide some text, provide some text that related to the material, but the students can choose one of them that want that they uh, want to read like that and maybe because they choose them choose by themselves the what they want to read they can motivate their self for to read and can comprehend what the passage uh about like that that's for me <laughs> Okay, thank you, Miss Sifa Fozia. Since Miss Christina is still on her way to do a moving class, let's go with Mr. Ivong. Come on, Mr. Ivong. Thank you so much for the opportunity given to me, Mr. Rahadi. Uh, I just I want to talk about I want to discuss about uh, reading, yeah, reading comprehension for the students. Uh, 
I don't know what class you teach, Miss 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 Christina, but I me myself I teach in uh senior high school and vocational high school. And sometimes I teach in junior high school too. And uh, usually before the class starts, I tell them what we what we were gonna do, what we are gonna do. And I make sure to them that uh, if we will study about reading, they have to obey my regulations. In the class, I have my own regulations, which is which is they have to obey the regulations. And if it is not the time for for visual media, usually they 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 do what I say. And then for the activity for the reading, uh, usually to make them not bored, uh, I made some 